Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul again. Uh, okay, so today um, we're going to just show you quickly how to draw, how I would draw a pug. Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, his eyes. Still in lockdown in the UK. Um, lots of things just slowly opening now, pubs and things. Um, so I want this quite blocky. I'm going to do it in all sorts of different um, colours, so a bit more abstract than your normal pug drawing. Okay, so I'm just going to draw out where um, the lines on his face are. Um, He's he's quite um, angled here, so he's looking kind of side on. So we're going to draw um, get a bit of a chin here. Do it quite small, so we can colour it in. The pencil cranes, okay. Um, so these pugs have a a big flap of skin here above the nose and it kind of goes to an angle here so I've just drawn one eye in first and just draw this out first before I put the next eye in there we go and then this extends to about there okay and then we've got the other eye so um, This is a little bit more circular really than the other one from this angle. So the dog's got his head on the on the side looking kind of inquisitive up at uh, his owner. I'm about to start a painting for a commission for a lady I know that's got a pug that wants a pug. An abstract pub's a pug, so this is kind of a um practice run of this kind of artwork but I'm going to do that one in paint and acrylics this is obviously in pencil crane and pencil okay so we'll bring in the eye in a little while so that's about the shape of the the eyes and they've, they've got this uh, kind of jelly expression and this is the, the kind of fold underneath the chin here. So we'll just take this up and up and round here. Um, Tim, kind of this this shape first. Um, we'll bring an ear down. To about there and then we'll bring it out wider and bring this across to the top of his head here we've got wrinkles everywhere on this pug so we're going to bring a, a wrinkle around there and have another one coming like this Another one. I'm just going to draw some lines in now where I'm going to have the um, the colour flashes of colour coming across. Okay, so from this, the ear comes up slightly, and then it's got a few nobbles on the top of his head. Um, that kind of thing, and then the other ear comes right round. Move those lines out in a little while, I think. Um, and we've got a very black, dark patch in there that we might do kind of purple. Um, and that's about it, really. We just need a nose doing now, so underneath this flap, a little bit of dark. And the nose is a really strange. Um, swirl so it'll go like this okay um, there you 
again it comes round. Got a little bit of dark underneath. You might want to pause this if you're going to draw the same as me. Um, and then you want a line, a definitive line like this here. Um, Lighter area here. And then we've got a couple of lines down here. Some darker areas here. this see it coming in now okay like that. okay now this eye Bring the eyeball in. It's got a couple of bright lights here. So I'll bring a few white patches there. Got a bit of grey there. Got some more lights going on, so we just draw out where we're gonna put the lights. Okay. Um, we've got a flatter one here, comes up like that, this is just where the camera is uh, bouncing off the lights of the, the pupils of the dog, um, but we're going to do those very very dark, okay, um, we're going to bring some real dark patches up here as well, okay, so I'm quite happy now with that, I think I'll probably get on with um, doing a little bit of shading, a little bit of colour. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my high, my uh, fine liner. I'm just going to just put in exactly where I want these dark areas here in the nostrils, like that. Okay. Um, I think I'm we're probably going to finish the video in a little while and just colour it because it's going to take forever to colour uh, and then just show you on another a little bit at the end of this video, I'll, I'll start filming again and, and show you the end result, okay. Um, so that's what that's what we're going to probably try and do there. Um, I want to just start colouring this, uh, this pug in now, okay. Um, so um, I'll leave it there and then I'll, I'll um, film again after I've coloured it in a little bit, okay. Okay, so here's the final piece. I uh, put a bit of watercolour uh, in the background as well. Not sure whether it's worked very well. Um, it's not watercolour paper, you see, so uh, it's, uh, it lifts the paper a little bit. Um, so just gone for red eyes, don't know why. Um, just quite fancy doing red eyes. So you can get the idea here. You could probably build up that much more um, colour-wise, probably put a little bit more like a lilac across here. Um, if you wanted to, okay, just fill in all these blanks if you if you really wanted to do that, you could do. Uh, left a bit of pencil so I can see the pencil lines. Um, and left a little bit of white as well, quite like the fact that it's got white in it. Um, so there's my kind of abstract nod to the abstract art uh, world. And there's a little pug. Um, so have a go at uh, doing that if you want to. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll try and do a, another video in the next couple of nights uh, just to show you something different. Hope you're all well anyway, and speak to you all soon.